Kapustin Yar Russian, Kapustinar is a Russian rocket launch and development site in Astrakhan Oblast, between Volgograd and Astrakhan. It was established by the Soviet Union on 13 May 1946 and in the beginning used technology, material and scientific support from defeated Germany. Numerous launches of test rockets for the Russian military were carried out at the site, as well as satellite and sounding rocket launches. The town of Zdenamensk and Kapustin Yar Air Base was built nearby to serve the missile test range. Topic history The fourth missile test range Kapustin Yar was established by a decree of the Soviet government on questions of jet-propelled weapons on 13 May 1946. The test range was created under the supervision of General Lieutenant Vasily Vozniak commander of the range 1946-1973 in the desert north end of the Astrakhan region. The first rocket was launched from the site on 18 October 1947, it was one of 11 German A-4s that had been captured. The State R&D Test Range No. 8, GNIIP8, Test Range S was established at Kapustin Yar in June 1951. Five atmospheric nuclear tests of small power 10 to 40 knots were performed over the site in 1957 to 1961. As of 1959, Kapustin Yar was the only publicly known Soviet missile test range. Non-Soviet observers believed at first that Sputnik 1 and 2 launched from the site. With the further growth and development, Kapustin Yar became a cosmodrome, serving in this function since 1966. The rate of space launches was very low, usually one to two a year and during the Soviet era, it hosted only the two smallest launch vehicles, the R-12 and R-14 derived Cosmos boosters. There were no space launches at all from 1988 to 1998. The town of Zdenamensk was established to support the scientists working on the facilities, their families and supporting personnel. Initially this was a secret city, not shown on maps and requiring official permission to visit. Evidence of the importance of Kapustin Yar was obtained by Western intelligence through debriefing of returning German scientists and spy flights. The first such flight reportedly took place in mid-1953 using a high-flying Canberra aircraft of the RAF. The UK government has never admitted such a flight took place nor have any of the supposed participants provided direct evidence due to its role as a development site for new technology. Kapustin Yar is also the site of numerous Soviet era UFO sightings and has been called Russia's Roswell. June 3, 1947 Resolution of the Council of Ministers of the USSR and the Central Committee of the CPSU. B. No. 2642817 Kapustin Yar was designated as the location of the new rocket test site. Major General V. I. Vozniak, and the Chief of Staff of the GPC, a Colonel A. G. Karas. The first officers arrived at the future training ground on August 20, 1947. In September 1947, a special brigade of the Reserve of the Supreme Main Command, Major General of Artillery, arrived from Germany AF Tveretsky since 1950 the 22nd Bonn RVGK, then two special trains with equipment taken from Germany. By the beginning of October 1947, in addition to the concrete test stand and bunker, and at the first site, a launch site with a bunker, a temporary technical position, and an installation building were built, a highway and a 20-kilometer railway line connecting the landfill with the main highway to Stalingrad Volgograd, were built. Housing construction at the site was not conducted until 1948. Builders and testers lived in Tent X, Dugout X, temporary buildings, and also lived in Peasant Izba X village Kapustin Yar. Guide Landfill lived in Special Train. 
By October 1, 1947, V. V. Vosniak reported to the leadership about the readiness of the launch site for launching rockets. On October 14, 1947, the first batch of missiles V 2 A 4 arrived at the test site. On October 18, 1947 at 10.47 Moscow time, the first launch of ballistic missile in the USSR was made. In the period from October 18 to November 13, 1947, 11 V-2 rockets were launched, of which nine reached the target albeit with a large deviation from the set trajectory and two crashed. From 1947 to 1957, Kapustin Yar was the only place to test Soviet ballistic missiles. On the test site were tested missiles R-1 September to October 1948, September to October 1949, R-2 September to October 1949, R-5 missile March 1953, R-12 missile, R-14 missile, etc. On September 2, 1959, a missile R-12, for the first time in the world, was launched from a missile silo. In 1957–1959, intercontinental cruise missile Buria started at the Kapustin Yar Proving Ground. On May 20, 1960, the training center of the Rocket Forces of the Ground Forces was established on the territory of the State Landfill, whose task was to create combat coherence of missile parts created, train and retrain rocket specialists, create regulatory documents for all-round missile combat activities parts of the Ground Forces. On March 16, 1962, Kapustin Yar became Cosmodrome. Cosmos 1 satellite was launched. Subsequently, small research satellites were launched from the Kapustin Yar Cosmodrome, to launch which were used launch vehicle of the light class of the series Cosmos. In subsequent years, a large number of various short- and medium-range missiles, cruise missiles, complexes and air defense missiles were tested and tested at the test site. According to open data, since the 1950s, at least 11 have been conducted at the Kapustin Yar test site nuclear explosions at an altitude of 300 meters to 5, 5 kilometers, the total capacity of which is approximately 65 atomic bombs, dropped on Hiroshima. In addition to nuclear tests, 24,000 guided missiles were blown up in Kapustin Yar, 177 samples of military equipment were tested, 619 missiles were destroyed minus 10 Serbian dinars. In 1994, the 4GPC Russian Ministry of Defense entered the test site Air Defense Forces. In October 1998, the 4th State Central Polygon was transformed into the 4th State Central Interspecific Polygon. In 1998, the Sari Shagan test site located in southeastern Kazakhstan and rented by Russia was removed from the air defense troops and reassigned to the 4th State Central Interspecific Polygon. In 1999, Russian troops were redeployed to the Kapustin Yar test site from the 11th State Research Test Site of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation Ember RU, due to the dismantling of the latter. On the morning of September 27, 2007, the general designer of NPO Almaz Alexander Lemansky, work manager for S-400 Triumf and other air defense systems and missile defense. In 2008, Russia carried out 27 launches launch vehicles, retaining the first place in the world in terms of the number of launches and surpassing its own figure for 2007. Most 19 of the 27 launches were performed from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, 6 from the Plesetsky Space Launch Center Archangelsk region. One space launch was carried out from the launch base Dombarovsky Air Base Orenburg region and the Kapustin Yar test site. Topic: <laughs> Flight Canberra 
Western intelligence services learned about the existence of the test site from German scientists returning to their homeland. For an additional gathering of intelligence in August 1953, a specially trained British reconnaissance aircraft, Canberra, Canberra PR3, tail number WH726, equipped with a unique camera, Robin. The aircraft was launched from Giebelstadt Air Base and flying over Volga at an altitude of more than 20 km, approached Kapustin Yar. The MiGs raised in alarm could only slightly damage the aircraft. After taking a photo of the landfill, the Canberra crossed the Caspian Sea and landed in Iranian Tabriz. As a result of the flight, snapshots of secret objects of the site were obtained. The success of the operation gave impetus to the development of satellite and aerial photography programs of military facilities in the USSR and other socialist countries. Topic: Missiles tested, launched. October 1947 A4 V2 the 18th of October 1947 Articule T exact copy of V2 S25 Burkut The 10th of October 1948 R1 missile The 3rd of January 1955 R11FM The 20th of January 1955 R5M the 2nd of February 1956 R5M with standard nuclear warhead. The 22nd of June 1957 R12. March 1959 R13. The 6th of July 1960 R14 Chusovaya. The 11th of February 1962 R14U. The 16th of March 1962 11K63 Cosmos. The 21st of September 1974 RT21M-10 Serbian Dinars Pioneer. The 12th of February 1999 S400. The 3rd of March 2011 S500. The 4th of March 2014 RT2PM Topol. The 20th of May 2014 RT2 PM Topol. Topic: Launch pads. Topic: Interesting facts. In public opinion, the site is often referred to as Russian Roswell, the place where USSR was located or was investigated captured or wrecked alien ships. Based on this legend, various television programs were filmed and there are many different data on the Internet, including the structure of the underground complex of the channel. Kapustin Yar is mentioned in the story, Cradle in Orbit, Arthur C. Clarke. Kapustin Yar is mentioned in the novel Alexander Gromov, Step to the Left, Step to the Right. M. Ast, 1999. Kapustin Yar is mentioned in the shooting star Harry Harrison, writer. One of the key missions of the computer game UFO, Aftermath is the task of finding documents in an underground base located at the Kapustin Yar test site. January 8, 1992, during a trip to Saratov region President of the Russian Federation Boris Yeltsin, making a statement on the issue of Restoration Volga Autonomous Republic of the Germans, proposed Soviet Germans to move to Kapustin Yar, instead of their legitimate territory, and let this land, which is filled with shells, may they cultivate it. There may be some such region in some future and there will be, or there may be some such national Volga region Germans, but only when there will be 90% of Germans. See also Area 51 
White Sands Missile Range. Equals equals notes. <laughs>